Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at perpendicular bisectors. I want to look at the problem, write an equation of a perpendicular bisector of line segment AB whose endpoints are 1, 2 and 5, 4. So we're looking at the Cartesian plane and we should start with plotting the point 1, 2 and labeling it A. Next we could plot the point 5, 4 and we could label this point B. So now when we join these two points, we can form line segment AB. And the goal is to write an equation of a perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So we need the following definition. The perpendicular bisector of line segment AB is a line L such that L is perpendicular to line segment AB at the midpoint of line segment AB. So when we sketch line L, it's going to pass through the midpoint of line segment AB, which separates line segment AB into two equal halves. And when it intersects line segment AB, it's going to form a 90 degree angle. And now our goal is to write an equation for line L. So we need two things. We need a point and we need a slope. But the point we're going to use is the midpoint of line segment AB. So we need the following equation. For the midpoint of line segment AB, we're looking at the sum of the x-coordinates divided by 2 and the sum of the y-coordinates divided by 2 when we have two points x1, y1, x2, y2 but in this case we're looking at the point A, B well the points A and B and what are the x-coordinates for A and B? well the x-coordinate of A is 1 and the x-coordinate of B is 5 so we're going to substitute 1 and 5 for x1 and x2. So we're looking at 1 plus 5 divided by 2. Next for the y coordinates we're looking at we need to substitute in for y1, y2 which points to the y coordinates of either point. So the y coordinates for these points is 2 and 4 so we're going to substitute in 2 and 4 for y1, y2. So now when we simplify, we have that the midpoint of line segment AB is equal to 1 plus 5 divided by 2, which is 6 divided by 2, which simplifies to 3. And we have 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which is also 6 divided by 2, so the y-coordinate is 3. So now this is our midpoint. This is a really important piece of information. And if we look at the graph, we can tell that this midpoint was going to fall somewhere near 3, 3. But it's always important to verify with the midpoint formula because in other examples it won't be as easy to sketch it on the plane. So now we need to find the slope of line L. But to do so, we're going to look at the slope of line segment AB first. So the slope of line segment AB, we're going to use the equation for slope, which looks at rise over run. But if we use the explicit formula, we're looking at y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And now we can look at the difference in their y-coordinates. So we can look at 4 minus 2. So we can substitute for y2. We can call this 4. We'll substitute for y1. Evaluating this at 2. All we're doing is subtracting the y-coordinates, 4 minus 2 divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, so 5 minus 1. So we could substitute 5 for x2, and we could substitute 1 for x1. So now when we simplify this, this is 2 divided by 4, which reduces to 1 half. So the slope of line segment AB is equal to 1 half. But now how is this going to help us find the slope of line L? Well, there's a certain theorem involving perpendicular lines that says perpendicular lines their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other so the way that's going to help us find the slope of line L is we need to take the negative reciprocal of one half so we're going to flip one half to get two over one and now we negate it so the slope of line L when we reduce this is negative two so the slope of line L equals negative two so now we have the two important pieces of information we need. We have a point and we have a slope. 
so we can write an equation for line L now. So we're going to use the point slope formula. We're looking at y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And now we're going to evaluate this using the point 3, 3 and the slope negative 2. So y minus the y coordinate 3 equals m, or the slope, which is negative 2, times x minus the x coordinate, which is 3. So now we distribute the 2, oh, I'm sorry, we distribute the negative 2, and we have y minus 3 equals negative 2 times x, and now we have negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. So the last step to find our equation is to add 3 to both sides. And now we have y equals negative 2x plus 9. And this is going to be the equation for line L. Now if this were a test and you had time, I would advise plugging in the point 3, 3 into this equation to make sure that all the math was done right. So we're looking at when x equals 3, we're evaluating this, or we're plugging this x value into the equation. So we have y equals negative 2 times x, so we're going to plug in 3 now, plus 9. And now this gives us y equals negative 6 plus 9, and negative 6 plus 9 is equal to 3. So this tells us that the point 3, 3 is definitely on this line. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem, as well as this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that it was helpful.